Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Operation Nail Growth Week 3 update. It is currently Friday night, 7-12, and I am painting my Week 3 manicure. So I just did one hand. I am doing my like sponge painted French manicure. There's a whole tutorial on my channel how to do this. I already did one hand because it kind of takes a long time. So I'm just going to do the other hand while we chit chat and catch up. So without further ado, let's get to painting. So I have everything out and ready. I'm sorry if this is shaking a little bit. I'm trying to figure out my new filming setup. I think I mentioned last week, but my husband and I combined our offices. So he is set up behind me over here, which is great. It allowed us to open up our spare room, but it's just been a transition. I have so much stuff in here. Not only is this my office, this is also my closet. So all of my clothes are in here. All my makeup is in here. It's just kind of my getting ready room. So today I spent the better portion of the day completely cleaning organizing, just like setting up piles to donate and to toss of clothes. My closet was a disaster. I had a clothing rack out by that window and I loved it. I was able to put a bunch of my summer pieces on that and it made getting ready in the morning so much easier, but I took everything off, fit it into the closet and then brought the clothing rack back into the basement because it just gives the room a little more of an open feel. So it feels a little more spacious and it looks really, really good. I just put something up on Instagram. I'll see if I can save it and insert it here. It has been quite the project. I am using my, this camera is shaking a lot. I am using my USB mini light over here. I love this thing. It's just so easy. I know I've mentioned it a bunch of times on my channel, but this exact one I can't find. The brand is Edgeu, E-D-G-E-U. It was actually sent to me for a collab I did and I just continue to use it all the time, but there's so many on Amazon that you can pick up. I'll link a couple of my favorites below. I really wanted to do a French manicure, but it's so late right now. And to do a proper French manicure, I need to have a lot of patience. I need to have a steady hand and a lot of time. And after the day I've had, I just was not in the mood to do a French. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I do one of my sponge Frenches, which I'm gonna be honest, it's not coming out perfect, but I do like it. And I did my dominant hand first so that I could film my non-dominant for the video, meaning I use my dominant to do it so it'll go much faster. It literally just took me forever to do this hand. But I just have a little piece of like kitchen sponge that I use. I could probably get a proper makeup or beauty sponge. I just don't have one on me right now. And this works just as well, so why not? Go for it, you know? So I just paint a little white tip and then dab it in. So how have you guys been doing on your nail growth journeys? I'm happy to report I've had no breaks this past week. My nails are starting to get a little bit longer, which is so exciting, but also nerve wracking when I don't have gel on because they're always more susceptible to break when they don't have gel. But I hope now with the gel, we can really just expedite the rest of this process, which I think we will. I think the next week or two probably in two weeks i will have the perfect length and that'll bring us to about week five the only things that i've been doing are regular manicures i have been changing my polish quite a bit uh, while i had regular polish on just because i didn't want the polish to peel or chip and anytime it started to do that i would just quickly take it off and repaint my nails hopefully this gel mani lasts a couple weeks it should so yeah, in addition to the regular manicures, I've also been trying to be very, very careful per usual. I mean, I always try to be careful, but when I'm growing my nails, I'm always a little more aware of what I'm doing with my hands. But I'll tell you today, cleaning this whole office and closet with regular nail polish on, I was a little worried that we might be in trouble, but I made it through without any breaks. So very, very happy about that. So yeah, with this, I can be a little messy, which is fine, but I do like to clean it up from around the edges before I cure. Otherwise, that polish will harden and it could actually end up ruining or lifting the manicure. Sometimes these get bubbles in them, so I do like to pop the bubbles before I cure into the lamp we go. It's so warm today. I didn't shower and get ready till about five o'clock. Me looking somewhat normal right now is <laughs> a little delayed, but the weather and the air quality are so off today. It's like so hazy outside. It's very, very humid, so I've just been kind of hunkering down in here getting everything done. And I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of me because this has become like a two week project. And now that we're done, we are done. Last night, I placed another order on the Timu app. You may have seen me film a video reviewing Timu back in February or March. I placed an order right after the Super Bowl when they were doing all of that marketing. Over 
overall, I was like pretty impressed with the stuff I got. There was one piece that kind of sucked, but everything else was pretty much up to the quality and standards that I was expecting it to be. Like AKA nothing crazy, but wearable. And I've been on the hunt for some summer dresses. I don't know if it's just me, but has Amazon significantly increased their prices? I feel like everything is like $40 on Amazon. I used to be able to get the cutest things for like 12, 15 bucks. And now everything, no matter how basic it is, starts at like 30, $40. So anyway, I was like, you know what? Let me revisit Timu. I'm not a huge fan of fast fashion websites. I don't shop them frequently, but every once in a while I do like to place an order and I try to be very particular about the pieces that I choose. I try to make sure that they're things that I will wear multiple times for many years to come. And I'm really happy with the handful of things that I got. They're very, very cute and they're really unique. I haven't seen them on any other websites. So I'm hoping I could do another try on and review video here soon. If you would be interested in that, a comment below let me know what you think yeah i don't need to go back on my word but every once in a while i do like to frequent some of those websites i haven't done a shein order in a long time years i don't even know the last time i shopped at shein but i know they've been in the news a lot lately especially with this influencer trip and their like mock office that they set up i don't know it's kind of crazy don't want to get involved but i feel like timu is probably not much better but they operate under the guise that they have this whole warehouse and operation going down in the u.s i believe it was in massachusetts i could be wrong but when i was doing research for that original video i kind of learned all about it and it seemed a little more ethical. They're not usually the first places I choose to shop. Gosh, I love a good sponge manicure. What else is going on? Oh, last week was Sweet Almonds one year anniversary. So we had a big anniversary sale. I think I talked to you about that. I've been doing some more work on Sweet Almond lately, just trying to source some new products and testing new things. Hoping that soon we'll be able to offer an eyedropper. I know a lot of people have asked about that. So I've been working a lot on that lately and I just love Sweet Almond. I wish I had more time to fully dedicate to it because I do still work in a million other ways, but I'm hoping this year I can give it a little more of my attention. If you don't know what that is, Sweet Almond is my company and we sell a cuticle oil. I spent years perfecting the formula. It is the only cuticle oil I use, like the one and only. I use it on my fingers, I use it on my toes. I just absolutely love the formula. I love what it does for my nails. I love what it does for my cuticles. It's just a great product that I'm really proud of and it is available for purchase at shopsweetalmond.com. It's always linked in the description box below. Wow, this hand is going so much quicker than my right hand was. I swear I thought it was gonna be painting my nails till nine o'clock at night. And it's one of those days where I just wanna go like sit and watch TV when I'm done. <laughs> so I've been on the move all day. I've been watching and just like that, has anyone been watching and are you guys a fan of the show? I did watch last season. And it was like many people thought a little cringe. It was kind of a little much for me. I didn't love it, but at the same time I couldn't look away. So I think in theory I did like it. <laughs> but when it came back, I was like, I definitely want to watch this. So I had to see how the story progressed. I'm gonna say that this season's actually been a little better than the first one. I'm not hearing that from most people. I actually have been hearing the opposite that it's just so, so cringe, but I've been enjoying it. If you've been watching, let me know what you think below. The whole Miranda thing just takes a lot of getting used to because it's just such a 180 from how we knew her, but it's funny. Carrie is still my least favorite. I do love Charlotte. Her whole situation cracks me up. Lily and her new like Billie Eilish piano career, when she was performing for everybody, I was laughing because it was just so left field and so serious and not how we've seen her. But at the same time, I was like, this is actually kind of a really good song. She had a really cool voice. So I've been enjoying her scenes. I do like all of the new characters. I think they all bring something to the table um, and I think they did a good job casting them. My least favorite of them might be the therapist just because her storyline irks me so much. I just, I don't know. I'm so annoyed by her husband and I'm not sure they bring that much to the table in terms of the whole plot and story, but I do like, what's her name, Seema and LTK. I'm really bad at remembering characters' names, but her Met outfit, like she killed it. She looked so cool and that like face thing. It just looked like it hurt so much. I listened to the And Just Like That podcast. There is a podcast that recaps each episode. So that's fun because they usually have like the director or somebody involved in the show on as a guest to kind of give you some behind the scenes. But that definitely makes it a little more fun just to hear you know, their thoughts behind the whole thing. But yeah, that's been my current guilty pleasure. Dan and I also started watching season three of Ted Lasso. We hadn't caught up on Ted Lasso in such a long time. We watched seasons one and two a while ago and just never got around to watching season three when it came out. So 
We've been binging that the past week or so. I adore Ted. He's like one of my favorite characters of all time, I think. He's just the sweetest, funniest, cutest man. And I don't know why Michelle doesn't want to be with him. I really don't. My heart really goes out to him. I don't know. We'll see how the season ends up. Wait, that was my top coat. Really kind of risky of me shooting this at 7.30 on a Friday night when this video is supposed to be up at 6 a.m. on Saturday, but I'm gonna do my best and hopefully I can get this up by six. If I don't finish tonight, I'll wake up early and finish editing. And it will be up at some point tomorrow. And then, like I mentioned last week, since this is a gel manicure, next week's update will probably just be another non-manny video. So we'll just chit chat about our growth and our updates. I do wanna know how you guys are doing, what colors you've been wearing this past week, different products you've been using, and anything you've changed in your routine to encourage your nail growth. I love how many of you participate in this. It's just a fun little thing you can do for yourself. All right, let's get this alcohol on here. This is my favorite part. Regular manis could never. They actually could never. My hair is getting so long as it's like stuck in my armpit. <laughs> I um I got out of the shower today. I was tempted to just cut it myself. I like long hair, but I don't have the best hair for long hair. My hair is like really thin, not much volume. It's pretty fine and flat as well. So I normally prefer a shorter cut. I've been really tempted to chop it later. Every time I chop it, I kind of regret it. And my friends are always like, don't chop it. You never like it. I'm just gonna go in real quick on the sides, file off anything that kind of got stuck to the cuticle. But I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about it. Maybe not like a full chop, but a little cut. Feels so good. I'm gonna go run and wash my hands really quick and then come back to oil and show you our growth. Okay, hands are washed. I'm gonna apply a little sweet almond to finish the manicure. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Now it's not like the best mani I've ever done, but it's giving me that French manicure feel that I really wanted. And the way that this is gonna grow out is going to allow the mani to last a really long time because I went almost halfway down the nail with the white and the sponge. It feels so good to have gel on my nails again. It has been a while, like a really, really long time. So here we go. Again, not the most perfect manicure, but this is gonna grow out really nicely. I should get at least two weeks out of this. I'm hoping maybe even three. Again, there is a whole tutorial on my channel showing you how to do this manicure. I just did one coat of the Gelish foundation. Then I used a little corner of a sponge and Gelish's Chic White to kind of blot around the nail tip and about halfway down the nail. Then I used Gelish's Feeling Flirty, which is a sheer jelly pink with some sparkle in it to paint over everything. Then I went back in with my sponge and Chic White to sponge once more, just to make the tips a little more white, make the gradient a little more bold. And then I finished it with one coat of Top It Off. And that's it. Then I just filed around the edges to smooth them out and used a little sweet almond and our final result. So I'm happy with this growth so far. This is pretty good. We are three weeks in and I really don't think I have that much more to go. I think two more weeks, maybe three. I don't know, three might even be too much. We'll be in great shape. But that is it for this video. I wanna wrap this up so I can go edit this video and get it live for you. If you enjoyed this update, please give it a thumbs up. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I just hit 40, 7,000 subscribers, which means we are like that much closer to 50K, which is so crazy to me. So if you've been a viewer for a while, or even if you're a newer viewer, newer viewer, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me out more than you know, and I appreciate it so, so much. And I hope to continue doing these Operation Nail Growth Challenges. This is the second one of 2023. There might be one more towards the end of the year, and I can totally see this being something we do annually. I'm glad you guys have been enjoying them. I love seeing pictures of your nails and your manicures. You can always send them to me on Instagram at underscore Amanda Bell. But that's it. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all next week for week four. Bye.